Hey everyone. If you're looking at hyper-converged storage solutions, uh, I recommend you take a look at VMware's vSAN. I just got some training on their vSAN 6.2 yesterday from the team out here in Denver, and it is a, it's, an impressive, it's an impressive solution. So uh, some of the things that make it impressive, you know, it's VMware, so they're hardware agnostic. You're not gonna be tied to a specific uh, hardware vendor or a specific uh, appliance. You know, if you are a fan of Dell servers, you can go with Dell. If you prefer HP, that's fine. Cisco, no problem. Uh, if you want to do some white box, uh, you know, servers, then Supermicro is an option. And they even offer some configurators so you can uh, get all the hardware specs and you know get a get a solution, a full solution in addition to the software, uh, you know, spec'd out. Uh, you know, aside from that. How many of the hyper-converged solutions out there, they sit on top of the VM kernel. Uh, well, you know, VMware owns the VM kernel. So they actually embedded uh, vSAN into that kernel, which is going to give you better performance and uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to manage. In fact, you manage it through the vSphere uh, web client. So if you're already using vSphere, then you're familiar with, uh, with the client and it's going to be that much easier for you to use vSAN. Uh, now, vSAN comes in a few different editions. There's a standard, an advanced, an enterprise, and a remote office branch office. So I'll include some details uh, on each of those editions, as well as include some, some links to like the licensing uh, data sheet uh, and some other resources from VMware uh, that'll give you some more information on exactly what's included in each of those editions. Uh, remote office, branch office is really cool uh, because now you can have a SAN on site in your different locations, whether it's a store or an office, and uh, it's all going to be centrally managed and it's going to be a much less expensive option than putting a storage solution in each of those locations. Uh, in addition to that, if the, you know, VMware has their uh, vSAN for desktop, uh, so if you're just running vSAN for uh, VDI uh, environment, then that would be an option there. And uh, it's actually included if you're running uh, VMware Horizon uh, Advanced or Enterprise, vSAN Desktop is included in there. So you can already start taking advantage of that today uh, if, if you're using VMware Horizon. Uh, some of the, the things that are, you know, stood out to me is, you know, with VMware, you don't have to configure, uh, you don't have to do any LUN or RAID configurations. So, you know, uh, that's one thing that you can just take off your plate. Uh, also, you can deploy storage policies with just a, a single click to automatically provision your storage resources. So those are, those are some things that stood out to me. Uh, I would definitely recommend taking a look at vSAN. 6.2 was uh, a nice jump. Uh, there's some good reviews out there. I'll link to some reviews on 6.2 that will also uh, call out some of the changes uh, between the the last uh release and 6.2 um yeah if, if you have any storage needs if you're looking at hyper converged if you want a uh, hybrid or all flash doesn't matter uh you know take a look at vsan uh, if you have any questions or if you're using vsan today we'd love to hear uh, your experience go ahead and leave those in the comments uh, i hope this was helpful and thanks for watching